So what's up you guys? In this video, it's basically like 8 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday and I got over here all my exhaust stuff because I am taking my 240 to LJ's shop and they are going to fabricate the little link that I need for my exhaust between the downpipe and the rest of it. And basically they're going to have my exhaust put on because uh, I'm not trying to weld up any shitty welds for the rest of my exhaust so I'm gonna let the professionals do it so yeah so yeah you guys that's what I'm doing right now I'm heading over there and I'm about to go drop off my 240 so let's go all right you guys so I just got to the shop the stuff's inside the car and I've already basically gave them my keys and everything so I guess it's bye bye car until the next time I come back the exhaust should be put on and everything oh maybe they're gonna price everything out the price sounds right which it should uh, then yeah, I'll probably be back here and these also are be on the car. You gonna say bye to the 240? Yeah, I'm gonna Here's say bye to the 240. Okay. Now it's time to ride back with Chris. Alright, you guys, so I just got to Jerry's house. Uh, the 240 was dropped off at the shop to get the exhaust load on. And basically, today is Christmas. Uh, I don't know when you guys are going to be seeing this, but I'm filming this today and it's Christmas. Last night, Christmas Eve, we filmed the Lit 240 video with the Christmas lights and everything all up on my 240. But, like that, as you see. So, Christmas lights are still on 240, but this is, I guess, part of the exhaust video from when you guys are going to see it. Uh, so, Basically, I got my car back and check this exhaust out. I, I still don't got the exhaust on there, guys. It's actually over here. So I have everything right there. Basically, what had happened was I dropped it off. Uh, and then that same day, they basically got back with me saying that the exhaust was going to hang down way too low. And they, they really didn't want to rig it up. Uh, I mean, they were trying to help me out the best they could, basically, because it's LJ's shop. And uh, I could have took it to, like, an actual muffler shop or something like that, and then they would have put it on, but the price would have probably been jacked up a lot. And I guess they just didn't want to mess with it. They didn't want to, like, mess with anything on the car and just fuck anything up. So I guess that was a good thing uh, that I got it back instead because now I'm going to end up. I'm going to put my exhaust on, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So, basically, to stop the hanging down low issue, I'm going to try some methods out, and then I'm going to try and make my custom pipe that goes from the down pipe to my exhaust. And I'm basically going to just go straight into it right now and see if I can get it done, for the most part, today, Christmas. So, I guess, let's get into it. basically pulling the old rubber hangers off because I'm definitely not using these if they're gonna make my exhaust droop down really low so I got those two off and I need to get a 12 it looks like for this one so be right back So I got all three of the hangers out. Basically what I'm gonna do to mock it up is just use these little worm clamps. These little things are gonna hold it up there. Just slide it on to whatever hanger I'm gonna be using. I'm going to, I'll get it up here and I'll show you what I've done, okay? But just know it's gonna take a lot of playing around. All right, you guys, so basically, I got this one up here, it's held on by a worm clamp. See how I have this bolt right here? 
sticking out and then I have the worm clamp around it holding up the hanger for the exhaust. And then over here, which is, this is like where the tip is. So that's the tip of the exhaust. There's two hangers up there and I just put the factory rubber ones up here, right here. And it's on both sides. There's one right there and then one right here. So I kept this factory right here, just mocking it up right now. And then I have a worm hanger right over there. So it's basically what the whole thing looks like right fast. And then it looks like it's not sitting as low, I guess you could say, because if, if I use that rubber hanger, that's like it's sitting over there. If I use that rubber hanger right there, this would be dropping down hella low right here. So basically I'm gonna try and bolt the other one up and just basically test fit that and see how that goes. All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna go over all the work that I've done so far. So basically that's what the exhaust is gonna look like. Looks pretty, just like that. I like how it's slanted. I don't know, I've always liked the slanted exhaust look. Pretty sure that's how it's gonna turn out when I get everything welded up and everything also, so. So, uh, I'm gonna get on my belly and crawl down this little, on this little thing. If it wants to freaking work. All right, so I already showed you guys the, what you call it? The hangers, the rubber hangers, and I got the worm clamp already. And then basically I got the other half of the exhaust right here, bolted it up. I didn't put the gasket in because I'm pretty sure I want to take it back down. And then where this hanger comes off right over here, I used another stock rubber hanger right there. And basically it's hanging down like barely at all. So as you see down there, it's nice and neat tucked up in there. I'm gonna see if I can get a uh, side view from the frame so you can see how low it is from the frame. Hopefully that turns out pretty good. So let's see. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is, that's frame right, right here. That's frame. So lift it up. And you don't see any exhaust hanging down. So that's pretty awesome. Go down, there's the exhaust. Frame rail to frame rail. You don't see it. It's not hanging down. Looking back. The only other low part is just where it connects right there. But fuck it. Like that's as high as it's gonna probably get. Cause, let me see. The hanger that's over here. Whatever, right there. I was going to debate about putting a, a worm clamp on that, but it's like, there's no point. It's really tight already, so. Basically, it's pretty low right now. Well, not low, pretty raised up and high. Probably just gonna have to use that one worm clamp. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna pull that worm clamp off and I'm gonna take some rubber hose and put it around the metal hangers, like these, the metal hanger parts of the, uh, of the exhaust. I'm basically gonna do that so it's not metal on metal. Like the worm clamp's not gonna be on the metal and nothing like that. So that'll take all any vibration out of this whole system. So basically that's how it's gonna that's how I'm gonna do it. I just now have to come over here and I'm gonna be constructing my custom piece with just some three inch piping right here. And I ordered me a uh, what's it called? Flex pipe right here. The reason I'm doing flex pipe, I'm gonna put that in there is so that any exhaust play that my car will have, it should, this should like take it down a notch basically. So, and what I mean by that is people like to basically make the whole exhaust all one solid piece and just bolts it all up so that when it plays back here, your whole down pipe's gonna feel it up front and it's gonna crack manifolds. It's gonna Loosen studs on the turbo, it's gonna do a lot, it's gonna mess everything up, it's gonna break your shit, so. So basically any play in the back, in the back of the car, it'll come up front, and it'll end up cracking something like right in here, or it can crack my manifold. Cause I mean, when you think about it, the only thing that's holding this turbo up is that manifold, and just those little bolts right there. And then you got all that leverage from the exhaust, and it's coming up here, and it's gonna crack all your shit, so. I'm gonna put that flex pipe in, cause that's gonna dim down the Basically, any flex that goes on in the exhaust system, that, that should catch a lot of it. Got this nice three inch piece. 
I ordered that. I ordered a flange because that's going to bolt up to the other half of the ISIS exhaust. And I also, in my car, I should already have it. Got everything like freaking spread out. Dummy. I got a V band, so I'm going to be doing V band from my downpipe. And then it's going to go to flex pipe. Then it's going to go to that two bolt, three inch flange. That's basically what I'm going to do. Uh, as far as welding it all together, I told you guys I didn't really want to because we only have a flux core welder and there's tons of splatter and it's really hard to weld with that. And me not being like a professional welder or have a shit ton of experience in it, I, my welds are shitty, so I don't know about that. I might just tack it all together, get it all fit and everything, and then take it somewhere to go get the rest of it welded. Or I might just say, fuck it and just go for it like I did my downpipe. But... I don't know, you guys will find out at the end of this video though, so I guess I'm gonna start cutting some pipe and getting everything laid out and start going for it. Alright you guys, so I got the easy part done, basically got the flange tack welded to the pipe and then the pipe tack welded to the, basically the flex pipe. And yeah, that's the easy part. Now I just got to go from here, probably get like a long tube, I don't know how long, and uh, basically I'm going to have to get a straight tube, then probably put an angle in it, and then weld a V-band flange onto the end of it that goes to the uh, downpipe and then I have to weld the other half of the V-band flange to the downpipe so that's what I gotta do right now this is considered the easy part and I hope the rest goes just as smooth but I doubt it so let's get to it all right you guys so I'm just gonna update you where I'm at right now uh, it's basically a it's probably the biggest challenge I've ever had with a car building engines is like easy as cake but Doing this freaking exhaust work is freaking, I don't know, it's like hell. But, I'm gonna roll back under here and show you guys what all I've got done so far. Yeah. So, I got that. <laughs> got the flange welded to the, the flex pipe, and I just got like a straight pipe coming out of that. And then if you come down here a little bit further, I don't know if you guys can see it. But at the end of my downpipe, at the end of my downpipe, which is like right there, I welded a V-band flange onto that. So basically what I'm doing right now is just taking this pipe right here, and I'm going to, I just gotta weld the rest just to that V-band clamp, which is gonna be hard because it's like angled and everything, so I gotta make sure I have the right angles whenever I'm cutting my pipe and everything. So that's all I got left, basically. And then, and everything I'm welding right now is just tack welded together. It's not fully welded, just so I can just piece it together right fast. And then, when I come to my final decision, I'll 
make about either sending it somewhere to get welded or me just trying to weld it if I feel like I can do it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just trying to basically fit this angle piece together. I'll probably take it all apart once I get it all fitted up and everything. And I'll just show you guys the final product. But yeah, it's becoming a bit of a challenge. So sorry I can't show you guys any cool clips of me welding or cutting stuff. But yeah, you guys will see the final product once I get it finished. All right, you guys, so I basically have finished everything I needed to finish for the exhaust install. Uh, basically, I tack welded. I welded one little section because I had a huge hole uh, and like basically the elbow part coming from the exhaust, like coming from the downpipe going to the end of the exhaust, like right at the beginning of the little custom piece I was making. So that's the only part I had to weld. Uh, I welded the best I could. Again, it turned out shitty because I'm not the best welder, but I'm definitely gonna probably take it up to a shop and get film just to basically just finish my welds. That's all I need them to do because I have the whole pipe. It's already laid out. It's bolted up right now. I can start the car up and actually have the exhaust coming out the back right now. And I'll probably do that just to show you guys a little bit what it's gonna probably sound like. Something really close to that once they finish like welding and take all the exhaust leaks out. But I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm going to show you guys what all I've done. All right, you guys. So as you see, this is the flex pipe that I was talking about, as it, you guys saw um, earlier. So the bolts of that flange that I welded on, that little piece of pipe that I like welded on and cut, to the flex pipe, and then it goes to this long pipe, to another straight pipe, and then it goes to my little elbow that I created down here. I'll give you guys a close up of that. So that's basically what the elbow looks like. As you see, I welded that little section right there, like that from the straight that connects to the elbow, I welded that section. But everything else is just tack welded, like the flange, the V-Van flange up there, everything, all the way back down, it's tack welded. It's only like four spots on each of the pipes so that nothing moves all the way back. And then it just goes all the way back like you saw before. Um, and that's basically it. Like, that was my custom piece I needed. I needed a shop to do that for me, which I basically fabricated it. I just need them to basically finish off my welds because I don't want to do a shitty job and have tons of exhaust leaks everywhere. So, that's basically it. So, now that I basically have that all ready and installed in the car, um, I'm going to put the tripod in the back, and I'm just going to let you guys listen to it through the uh, audio of the camera. Uh, it's probably not going to do it justice or sound anything like in person, but, hey, uh, I guess... It's the best I can do for you guys, so I'll do that right now. So there you got it. Uh, so there you have it, you guys. I got basically that custom piece welded on, not welded all the way, but basically fabricated to where it's gonna fit on there and everything like that. So all I gotta do now is just wait for whatever shop I take it to to weld it, bring it back, install it, and then the exhaust should be basically all good. Uh, another thing I'm gonna do is where I have that worm clamp on underneath, on that one little tiny hanger, I'm going to basically take some rubber hose and basically slide it on to the metal hanger part of the car and also the metal, uh, the metal hanger part of the exhaust so that there's no metal on metal, which I think I explained that a little bit earlier in this video. But other than that, once everything's welded and bolted up and I got the little hose on that hanger, it's all good. The exhaust is on there, fully installed, and that is about it. So uh, that's probably the end of this video. There's not really much more I'm going to be doing other than just taking it to the shop and getting it bolted on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys like and subscribe and you guys probably heard about all the other YouTubers saying that they're not getting the views that they deserve and all that crap about how YouTube's changing uh, it wasn't really affecting our channel but just to be on the safe side please do leave tons of likes and comment talk to us uh, find us on social media Instagram Facebook uh, whatever it is Twitter and 
Snapchat, of course. I Snapchat you guys. So hit us up on there. And I guess we'll see you guys next time, you guys. So later. Oh, 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 oh,